Welcome back to another video. Today I want to deal with some erosion on my ATV, UTV trails, logging roads, whatever you want to call them. I had, we had some big rains and I have a little bit of erosion so I want to put in some water bars and maybe try to fill in some of the ruts. This is kind of what I got going for this, for what I want to do. It's kind of a little bit of a swale of sorts. And I'm just getting them roughed in and tracked in now and then I'm going to come back with a rake and finish them. Because like I got big rocks like that one that um, come up every time I dig here. This is kind of what a lot of them look like. This one's probably a little bit worse than others. But um, it's not like completely washed out. But there's definitely a trail where water's running. And it gets a little trickier as I go down because I actually have grass growing like you know on the trail except for where you drive so I don't really want to tear up all that grass and um, risk even more erosion so I'm not sure how I'm going to fill those in yet but um, I'm at least going to put some water bars in so there's a little bit of protection if we get another big rain.
All right, it's raining pretty good out, and I'm up here checking on the water bars. That first water bar, I changed my mind and put a culvert in. I don't know if that video comes out before this or after this, but that one's done, so we don't have to worry about that. Here, I mean, there's clearly some water, and it's running down the trail. That is running off in a few spots, like right here. It's making it off, and it's puddling here, which I eventually, I think it'll eventually make it, make it off. Here's an area where it's really congregating and running. It congregates from this area and run down and this area here into this one stream. And that's not a ridiculous amount of water, but maybe it's enough to cause a problem. I don't know. But I did I did cut this little trench in with my foot. Yeah, and that's working. That's getting the water down and off so it doesn't continue running down that. This ground's really hard, so that's about as deep as I can get it with my foot. And then we've got this water bar here that we put in. This is working excellent. I mean, it's catching everything. It doesn't appear like there's anything actually making it over. There is water here, but I don't think that's running over. I think that's running down this. I think that's just like kind of puddling. But this is working and it's running down. So that one came out good. Happy with that. I considered filling these in with like riprap. Just to like ease the the bump the bumpage when you go over it. The side by side, four wheel or whatever. Here's another area I caught in with my foot. That's working good. This is a pretty definitive rut right here. That don't help nothing. I wanted to get this, make sure everything was good before I seeded this trail. But I am going to reseed it again and try to get more vegetation growing. Nothing grows where you drive. If somebody's got a, got a, uh, uh, solution for growing uh, growing some kind of vegetation on a regularly used trail that gets super compacted and is mostly rock, let me know. I've tried different grasses and clovers, and all of which I can get to grow on the edges in the middle, you know, okay. It doesn't flourish because it's all shaded here. but it does at least grow. Here's another water bar, also working excellent. Nothing seems to be flowing over. And it disperses nicely. Doesn't seem like it's doing any kind of erosion. We're getting about something like four tenths to a half an inch of rain per hour right now. We had them since probably, we have them for probably uh, two, two to three hours maybe at this point. This part of the trail looks really good. You know where I cut this, where I cut this edge off, nothing running down there. There is a little bit of a rut there, but for whatever reason, Nothing's final on it. There's another water bar. And this one's really not catching any water because there's not really any water running above it. But I'll still take that. I mean there is it is catching some water. But that's this is kind of what this is kind of the, the, the idea or the goal is to not really need water bar to get it to shed off the trail before it hits some but um, it doesn't always work like that especially if you're going to use the trail like regularly if you were never going to use it you could grade it nicely seed it and uh, you'd probably never have to worry about it again because you're not going to put ruts in it and you're going to have vegetation that establishes and hold everything there 
That's just not the case here. This is an area where water's kind of running off. I just took a rock out of there in a different video. Actually, that was in this video, I think. They took this rock out. But, um... Yeah, that's working. I didn't really intend that to work, but, uh, I'll take it. And here's another area. Water kind of shedding off the side of the road. Kind of pulling up a little bit. So, holy moly. That sucker is muddy. Sheesh. That's making it down. There's water running here. This is kind of one of them areas that's just like... This, this wasn't, there wasn't a rut here when we, when we put this trail in. But you drive on it, and then you get a rut, and it's like, even if, even if you try to drive in a different spot of time, it just doesn't seem to work. Alright, here's another water bar. That actually doesn't seem to be working too great. There is clearly water flowing out of it. Let's just see if we can, uh, can give it a boot. I heard you can walk up here like this. You know, this one's actually washing sediment, which is not ideal. But you can tell because it's like a, you see that's like fresh sand or sediment or whatever you want to call it that's come down from this trench. So that's definitely an area that needs to be revisited because we do not want that. So if you get that, then your trenches get deeper and deeper and then you have a whole thing. So that one's going to need some work. Here's the area where it's making it off the trail on its own. It's good. We got some pretty good whoa! We got some pretty good running going here. On both sides here. And I didn't really put a water bar in right here. I'm really I should have. But this hill over right here is like like we've got these giant embedded rocks. No, I didn't want to deal with that. I try to cut a little bit of a path here to just help ease the pain, you know. I think that'll help at least. Not perfect, but what do you do? Alright, I made it down a little bit farther. We have, clearly have water just running into the fine rocks here. We can hit this water bar. And it looks like most of it's making it off. 
thing I heard the Yeah, okay, so we got that that rope's going here. This rope's coming here. That seems to be working. This section of land gets wet and it's like an awful walk. This is where the soil turns to like clay. And doesn't really have nearly as many rocks. Here we got a pretty bad run going here too. But it does make it off of this. So. I'll take it for now. Yeah, this trail catches a lot of water because it's got several acres above it. it. Runs a lot of water down. Here's an area I cut it in my foot the other day when it was raining. But it's making it off. That seems like a broken bit. Now we're to an area here that this trail's pretty flat for a while, so I didn't really cut any water by it. That area's a puddle, I mean, maybe I can fix a little bit. But to be honest, I'm really not that concerned with puddling. I just stay off the trail and I'm after running for a little while. Try not to tear things up. This is an area, I can't remember if I'd cut that in, but it seems to be working there. And I'm going to get a little bit of running coming going in here. What hits this and runs off nicely. I cut that in the other day. My foot. A lot of foot came too. Here we come to another area. We put this in with the excavator. That's working good. Here's another area we put in with the excavator. Also working pretty good. That is filling with sediment though. So that's only going to wait for so long. And then it'll fill up, but still running down. Here everything kind of just congregates and runs down on its own. This is a real low spot. Alright, we're to that area that we built up, which I'm not expecting to have done too well because this area's always been a problem. And it's not doing the best, but it's just all clay, you know, so it just it doesn't absorb anything. It just immediately starts running on it. Interestingly enough, though, it's running down the middle. I guess here it's the side. But there's really no rust in this because it's when it's dry. It gets so darn hard that it really, that really isn't a problem. But clearly we do have water running down. Bring it some sediment with it. Like I definitely need some attention. I'm not really sure what to do there, so if you got any ideas, let me know. Here's an area where it's always gonna run off naturally on its own. It really hasn't eroded much. I mean that that that's got a little bit of erosion there, that's about a, a year and about a year's worth there. Oh, 
Alright, here's another water bar. This is the shallowest one I made. And it actually seems like it's working. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of help. But it looks like it's really close to falling over, but it ain't falling over. At least that I can tell. This section's real flat. It just catches water. It doesn't really run off. Just throw those vines in here. This in, but nothing's making it today. This area I've never understood. So, like in this, this is only probably 20 feet. No water running. 20 feet later, water running. And this is sand. This is like straight up beach sand here. But somehow, this area, and you know, we could be running off there, bam, running again here. I just never understood this. It's gotta come like, it's gotta come like out of this world. This is a fairly bad run. But we've always had this problem here. And it runs down. And I put this log here to kind of catch and slow down the water. So it doesn't make it down there. Down by the, the house where we have all the problems. Or by the shed rather. I did a whole different video on this area. But this area has improved a lot. Not perfect, but it's way better than than it has been. So I think that's about a wrap for this video. But yeah, I had some successes, some things not so successful, but overall we had great improvement. So um, I consider it a success either way. So thanks for watching and hope you see you in the next one.